Alrighty, what's up guys? <laughs> it's Rush Dodge here. How's everybody doing today? Alright, so I got a nice different little uh, gameplay for you today. Something a little bit more rare. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest right now though that, you know, we don't really win this game and uh, I don't actually survive. On a brighter note, it is a Top Gun game with the Death Star that's not mentioned really anywhere. And it's a Bombardier Metal game. You know, I was just talking to Cosmic Carry there the other day. Uh, I was playing with him and Wizard Ken. And he's like, Rush, man, I just finally got my first Bombardier medal. And I was like, okay, you know, I was kind of thinking what he might have got it with. And he's like, yeah, I got it with the Death Star, he says. I'm like, holy cow, you know, that's freaking awesome, right? I mean, I've never gotten anything like that. And I just thought it was kind of funny because not even a day later, <laughs> I managed to get my very own Bombardier medal with the Death Star. So that's just freaking awesome. Anyways, I was playing with uh, two guys. One of them was, is a subscriber, and I'm not sure if the other one is. But uh, anyways, a big shout out to uh, other people's Resi and Kajir Amon. Uh, we had some good games while I played with them anyways. I think we only had like two or three games, but uh, they ended up uh, playing me with or playing with me for this one, which was pretty cool. Just picked off the rest of that M103. Now, this really wasn't an insanely high damaging match. I think we were, were around 5,000 damage by the end. But, like I said, you know, we rock a top gun game here. And, uh, you know, the Bombardier medal comes a little bit more towards the end. Now, I wasn't really in, you know, a rush to really move anywhere on this map. I don't know this map very well yet. You know, there's a lot of little hidden spots and just different places on the map that I really I don't know. You know, I'm sitting here because I had a nice shot on the M103. I wanted to reload. And I ended up seeing this E75. Picked off another 711 damage off him. Now, I'm pretty sure he's like, holy crap, better move back, right? You know, just got slapped pretty hard there. Uh, kind of reloading up. I plan on going back to shoot at him. Just took a, a nice little gander to the left to see what was happening. E75 kind of disappears, so, you know, I'm just looking now. Buddy kind of moves up almost too far, I'm guessing. You know, that's another reason why I didn't really want to move up too far, because right here, Buddy actually gets picked right off. And I wanted to get a shot on this E50, but wasn't quite zeroed in quick enough. Uh, so it's unfortunate that other people's resi, he, uh, he was actually out of the game, you know, fairly early. It's too bad. And... Now this uh, this tortoise pops up, and I do try to take a shot at him, and I'm assuming the round went over. I mean, obviously it didn't hit the ground. Uh, it's too bad. I hate that when you take a shot with the Death Star and it just doesn't do anything. I mean, you're especially when you're shooting Hesh, you you just threw away twenty thousand silver, which is ridiculous. Uh, you know, it's not a tank that you really want to take out to make silver. The only way you're going to actually come positive is pretty much if you have a good game every time. Uh, you know what? This wasn't a bad game, but I still didn't come positive. It's it's really ridiculous when uh, you're shooting hash all the time. That silver's just not going to be there. So anyways, I kind of take a look to the right here, and I notice this medium thinking that he might be safe coming down this valley here. Well, little does he know, <laughs> there's a Death Star aiming at him. Kabamo. There is our second kill. Now I'm just kind of reloading up here, debating on what I want to do. I decide maybe I should start moving up. Guys are moving up on the left side here. Uh, the teams are pretty even right now. Both sides are kind of picking off each other one for one. Kind of pull up beside Buddy's little destroyed Death Star here and uh, reload up here quick. Now that we're reloaded, we're moving on. The next thing I decide to do is zero in on this T110 over here, and he does make the mistake of coming out too far. An easy third kill. Finishing shot. Nice. Got another 30 second reload time. Odds are pretty good right now, I mean it's pretty even, but we are one ahead of the other team. We should have, you know, a, a chance of winning this, right? Now, 
we got two guys on the left here. I've seen the three guys on the far left side of the map there. Uh, I kind of decide to head back that way. Now, once again, not aware really of how this map works. I wanted to go to the edge there, see if I could uh, kind of see anything from there. Turns out there's kind of like a rock wall. So I decided to take a left around this here. Still taking it slow, not very sure about this map. Guys are moving up fairly quick. Checking the map out. Now the thing is I could go and help out my medium on the left. Or I could go help out the guys that are behind us. Now as it stands, you know, it looks like I should go help out the guy on the left. However, you'll see right away why I started moving back. Our, our base is getting captured right now for one, meaning we got a guy right beside the artillery. And of course, you know, when you got a, a bad guy right beside your buddy, it's, it's goofy but you're instinctive to try and go back and help him. Anyways, uh, they took him out, they took the guy out on the base, but it really was the right decision to head back this way. We lost a TD there, now we got two heavies moving up against the TD on the far side. In a couple seconds, you'll notice that there is another TD on th in the top left, and we did see that about a minute ago. So I decided to start heading back this direction. Uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that I couldn't go and help out the medium on the bottom right-hand side of the map there, but uh, you know, this truly was beneficial to us. I think it's almost kind of crazy how we start losing people here, though. Uh, you know. It, takes a while for me to get back to this side. Buddy's sitting in his artillery unit. Oh, it's hilarious, he's got the Batch at 155-58. You know, I just got that tank the other day as well. I'm kind of waiting on getting a half-decent game to show you that one. Uh, be my fourth tier 10. Very excited to uh, get some good gameplays in with that. So, I am kind of moving back here now. Stop because, like I said, it's just one of those maps that I haven't figured out all the nooks and crannies. Uh, so I am kind of heading back this direction. Buddy has the autoloader on that tier 10 artillery, so he's kind of thinking that maybe he can catch them on a corner or something like that. Gives me enough time to kind of fly up behind here. The Death Star really isn't the fastest TD, but it definitely isn't the slowest. Uh, we get kind of up to this corner and they must know it's a Death Star coming at them because they really don't try to engage me too quickly here. Uh, this one Conquer, we kind of keep moving up but he even he is hesitant. Uh, finally, I get up to the edge here. Unfortunately, I lost my arty. We do have a tank destroyer and a heavy off to the right so that is good. It's taken forever. It's taken forever for me to get to these guys. But finally I see this Conquer. I take a shitty shot at this guy. Shitty shot. Uh, you know, just about kill him, right? A little bit more well placed shot, I would have had him for sure. Uh, which is unfortunate. However, by the time he was mobile again and uh, ready to do anything, I'm already at 10 seconds reload time. I'm just about ready for another shot here. Uh, I'm sitting at, you know, about, uh, you know, three quarters health left. I'm really not too worried. The goofy thing is, we just lost a lot of our team here, and we're still losing teammates. Come around the corner here, and this is the beautiful moment. Why take a shot at a Conquer that is almost dead when you can shoot the back end of a T110E5 while an object is right beside him. Kablamo! <laughs> Finish off two of their guys in one shot. Beautiful. I mean, it doesn't happen too often. I mean, if it did, I wouldn't be so excited about it. And, uh, you know, it truly was another one of those giggly moments. <laughs> uh, this was good. Buddy took a shot at me. Didn't really have a chance to reload in time. I finished him off here. Now that shot to the left was another one of those 58s, the bat chat. Now he missed another shot, I'm thinking I'm pretty lucky. How many shots has he shot off already? 
I'm kind of waiting on the reload, but I decided to go slightly on the offensive. Now this, you know, it kind of leads from one thing to another. I go from a beautiful bombardier kill to not knowing where the hell this artillery went. You know, I'm, I'm assuming he's behind one of these buildings here, or he's kind of retreating. Uh, you know, it is a fast tank, and uh, unfortunately, Buddy catches me off guard right here and lands a very embarrassing shotgun. <laughs> But it happens. Big shout out to Buddy there for getting the shotgun kill. Funny thing is, he thinks he's safe and comes out, takes a bullet. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so, you know, the rest of the game was a was a complete... I, I don't know, there was three minutes of just people doing nothing, so uh, it did end up in a draw. It was a top gun game, like you said. Really hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. It was something a little different. You don't always see a bombardier kill. I thought you guys would take uh, some, you know, excitement out of it, just the way I did. And, uh, you know, once again, I really appreciate you watching. Got the 95% mastery dodge. Six kills, eight damage. And, you know, a little list of damage to go with it. Just under 5,000. Alrighty, guys. Really appreciate you checking out another video. If you liked it, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely do that. Lots of world tanks on this channel. And uh, you know what? Rush Dodge here. We'll catch you guys next time. All right. Take care, guys.